Hello guys, I have landed safely in Denver. <laughs> I'm back in the fucking building again. I'm at Milky and Plums and we're making blueberry pancakes. No, blueberry muffins, Jesus Christ. Muffins for um, the convention. We're trying to pack sandwiches and stuff this time because I always end up eating chicken tenders five days in a row and throwing up. And they have like the cutest little fall decorations. Absolutely adorable, love it. And Milky is trying to figure out uh, what hairdo that he's gonna do for his wedding hair and makeup. And we just saw the biggest spider that I've ever seen. We're currently getting some stuff together out of Milky and Plum's inventory so that I can sell it at my table. They've got like really cute stuff. I'm so super nice. They're saving for their wedding. Yeah. Yee, thank you very much, sir. I'm gonna hang out with Julia King later today. Milky's gonna fall over his own supply and maybe die. Hopefully he does As not. Usual. As usual. And I'm gonna run like a million errands. Your feet are in this. I'll try to cut the my camera feet. off. Not the, for free. <gasps> Gift. Thank you. I feel like I'm intruding on something. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about going to Milky and Plum's house is just seeing two queer people be happy and in love and act silly and stupid. I love spending time with them. They're two very special people to my soul. I need to lint roll the entire car. We need to vacuum the entire car. <laughs> We're here at the convention center, getting ready to set up. We're waiting for Comet to park. There's the big blue bear from last year. The big blue bear. What did you think I said? Oh, Holmes. <laughs> We're here at the convention table and our tables are right next to each other. We just started to set it up. Comet just ran wild looking for chairs because they did not give us any chairs. Yeah, and we really want water and Wild Bills isn't open yet. Very, very sad. But we got the display set up. They look really good. I still need to put my sticker boards up and I made my first sale, which is super exciting. I'm cutting out more Spider-Verse stickers because I ran out of my Gatito Miguel's again. I've already cut all of those out first because they've been selling really well. And Ozzy's also cutting out stickers for me. It's uh, not even four o'clock yet. It's just VIPs right now, but it's so, so crazy and hectic. So the con has been like really crazy and really hectic, but uh, in my very minimal downtime, I've been drawing Bash and Wolfwood. So hopefully I can make this into a print for tomorrow. We just finished watching the Mona and Comet has been crying for like 20 minutes straight. It's so good. It's, I didn't know they were gay and so I freaked the fuck out. Dude, please watch this movie. It's deserves, like all the publicity. Please. So hard on it. Please watch it, please. It's like 11 p.m. We're really, really tired, but we still have like 40 pages worth of shit to print. Oh no, we actually do have 40 pages and we need, we need to print all of us combined. Good for you. Good morning. It's day two of Fan Expo Denver and we're having a bit of breakfast while we're working with printer manufacturing issues. I don't know why they're not, nothing's printing, but Comet's uh, currently doing like a power cleaning of the print head, so hopefully that works. And we're having eggs and toast. I'm cutting out more stickers because of course I am. But look at this! Someone came by and gave me a gift. That is like the cutest business card I've ever seen. And they came and they gave me a little Bakugo button and a little Dobby button and some rice cakes. Like, dude, this is the cutest thing ever. Thank you!
The underside of my booth is an absolute disgusting disaster. It looks insane, but I've been cutting stickers and cutting out prints. The guillotine paper cutter is literally right there. I've got so much craziness happening. When we ordered pizza and I was very excited about it and then the pizza came and it was square. Square pizza? What's wrong with this crazy state? And I know this sounds so stupid, but I kind of had a mental breakdown over the fact that it was square pizza instead of round pizza, and it was so sad. But we ate it anyway because we were hungry. <laughs> the comet is probably dying more than I am. Just dead and deader. Food and the show? These are the best fucking donuts I've ever had in my life. I always put the avocado on the side because not everybody likes avocado. People who don't like avocado are criminals. <laughs> hey everybody, we are back home. There's Usagi chilling on the bed. We're in uh, Comet's house, which you guys know because I've been taking footage all weekend. I know I haven't been filming very much this con. To be honest, I'm really, 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 really exhausted from all of the conventions I've been doing. I'm really glad that this is the last one, the last hurrah before I get to take a break. It's been stressful. Missy's over in her cage, but she's kind of burrowing under the blankets. Don't ask me why she's burrowing under her own pee pads. <gasps> you can see her moving. <gasps> This is the first time I've seen her all weekend. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. There she is, my favorite baby girl. She's got her carrots. We're printing some more stuff. We've got Comet's printer set up. We <laughs> have been running out of a lot of stuff this weekend. I sold out of all my Hobie Brown stickers and my Miguel stickers. I sold out of all my Ghibli stickers. I had to cut like 12 Spider-Verse sticker packs at the table because I would like make one and then sell it and then make one and then sell it. It's been really crazy. Um, and Comet's mom actually drove, like printed stuff here at the house and then drove 40 minutes to the convention center to drop stuff off because she is a very lovely lady. There she is, my little piggy. I love her so much. Conventions have kind of been really, really exhausting this month. I don't know, it's been a lot of ups and downs and disappointments and craziness, but I really like Fan Expo Denver. I really like Denver in general and I'm just, I'm really glad that I get to end this crazy <laughs> convention fiasco month on a good note. I'm so tired. We're gonna finish printing stuff and then go to bed. We're on day three of Fan Expo Denver. Getting ready to head to the convention. Yeehaw! <laughs> that was the most delayed response Sorry, ever. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up directions yeah. so we can actually go. This lovely person was here last year and they came back this year to get more art. Thank you for coming by. I need to go pay for my table for next year, but the crowds are absolutely insane. We have like 45 minutes left of the convention. I just rebooked my booth space for next year. Hell yeah. And now I'm trying to get through the crowd to get back to my table. The con is over and we're breaking down. It's been a long, exhausting weekend, but I feel like we did a pretty good job. Only a few prints to put away and then I have to organize everything behind the booth. Simon came by to give us candy and little little cat books. Thank you so much for hanging out with us during the convention. <laughs> We're waiting for Comet to grab the car so we can put all our suitcases in it. Are you ready to rumble? I'm ready to rumble. <laughs> We're driving a 15 foot truck and Comet's about to have a panic attack. <laughs> and I don't blame them because this shit is huge. I'm so scared. You are gonna be driving on the way back. That's your payment. No! I will have him. <laughs> found Jay in plant form. I also really like these because they look like they've been rendered in a video game. These ones are called ogre ears.
Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me for a fun Fan Expo Denver 2.0 uh, convention vlog. Sorry I didn't film very much on Sunday. When I tell you that this convention was insanely crazy, it was insanely busy, it was nonstop, the crowd was huge. This was the same weekend as Anime Expo, and as some of you may know, there was a lot of cases of really bad crowd crush at Anime Expo. Um, people got hurt. People had to go to the hospital. It was really bad. However, Denver Fan Expo did what Anime Expo did not do, and they stopped ticket sales when they were fucking supposed to. So while it was really crazy and while it was really crowded, it wasn't dangerous. The Wi-Fi kind of sucked, but it was safe. <laughs> so I just finished uh, packing all of my pin club orders for my Todorokis and my Tetsu Tetsus, and I am done officially with everything that I need to do. Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye!